Hi, I'm Seth with Priority Maintenance, and it's time to talk tools. Today's tool is going to be our chop saw. So if you're ready to get started, here we go. So on our chop saw here, there are multiple different things that, you know, has all different kinds of settings. We have, I had started it out locked out, a little lock here to keep it down when transporting. Same with this knob here. Just loosen that, and now you're free to move back and forth. Now this saw we actually use on a daily basis. As you can see, there's wood stuff all over it. Uh, really simple tool to use once you kind of get all the little pieces down on it. It has one thing on here that I don't truly care for, and that's gonna be our laser guide. This laser guide is okay, and it's a great idea, but when you turn it on, you have a adjuster, unlock that, on this side of it that you can move that laser left and right and get it to line up right on your cut. To get it lined up perfectly on your cut is not an easy thing to do. So I'd usually just don't even use it. Um, you can do straight cuts back and forth. You can cant it at a 45 or any angle you'd like. It's got a small measurement thing here for your angles. We usually just use it either at straight or kicked at a 45. And then again, it's got another one here on the bottom. There is a small lever right here that you would pull up on and then you could turn it 45 one direction or any degree that you'd like. It locks in at 45, it locks in at 31.6, it'll lock in again at 22.5, and then at zero, and then back again the other way, all the way to 50 degrees. Now generally, we, when we're doing stuff, we don't typically have to do too many of those small incremental degrees. And a lot of the times it's just straight cuts or 45s. So to make your cut is generally pretty easy. What we would do is you'd you know, make your measurement, whatever piece of wood you're wanting to do, you'd make your mark wherever you need it. You'd line it up underneath, get it nice and lined up. I would usually take this, push it in to right where we need it, make sure we're on our line or just short of our line, depending on how you're measuring, and then give it a cut. And that'll do a straight cut. And then, you know, discard the piece you don't need anymore. Then again, if you were trying to do a 45 on it, you would line up your, make your measurement, draw your line wherever you would want your cut, cant your saw to wherever you need it. Again, we typically just use 45s. We use it a lot on trim and other things like that. And then you line your saw up one more time get it right about on your, right on your uh, mark there, and then make your cut. And then discard the piece you don't need, and you're good to go. And again, you could do the same thing, unlock it, put it back at zero, lock her back down, and then kick her over again, we typically just use it at a 45. You would make your mark wherever you'd like it and cut away. So there you have it. That's gonna be our chop saw. If you liked what you saw, make sure you like the video, hit the bell icon so you can't, don't miss a single episode. Again, Seth with Priority Maintenance. We'll see you next time.